Hey guys, this is Justin with Ready Business Systems, and today I'm going to be going over how to use your rate matrix in Service Autopilot to generate a square footage price based on the, the size of your property. Uh, in this example, it's for weekly lawn mowing. Uh, if you don't have Service Autopilot, uh, we can get you set up for a $0 setup fee. Check out the website, readybusinesssystems.com. Uh, typically costs up to $250 uh, going through Service Autopilot themselves, so keep that in mind. Uh, also, if you have Service Autopilot, you're looking to get this set up, uh, we're going to need two things. We're going to need to know the square footage of the properties, and we're going to need to know uh, how long they took to cut. So I recommend you get at least 10 different uh, data sets, so 10 different properties you've mowed all year round to get a good data set to be able to build out this pricing for yourself. So once you have that, you're going to go to the dispatch board to export this data. So you're going to filter for the service that you want to get the, the price on. In this example, it's weekly square foot mowing. Uh, and then as you can see, we have the time. The guys punched in and out on the mobile app, so we got the time it took to do each of these properties. We also have the square footage listed for these properties, so we know the size and how long they took. Um, and this column is the total hours. So once you get that, you're going to go to this More menu, and you're going to do Export. Uh, no need if you can seal these columns and you go to exports can export all the data for all these customers. You're then going to need to clean up the data a bit. So on here, you can see that here was all of our customer lists. I'm trying to expose any customer information, but we cleaned it up to just go down to the essential information. So we exported the list for the whole year for a whole bunch of customers, the different size properties, how and how and we had all the time they took. If you have bad data in here, this is a good time to clean it up. If you forgot to clock in in a couple, uh, some just look way off. You can just delete them from your data set. So what we did is we exported the total hours spent on that property, uh, the number of men that were working there, total man hours, and the square footage of the properties. Again, these are all going to export off the dispatch board once you do that. Uh, this is then just an equation, time per thousand square foot. So uh, to get it the most accurate, you're going to want to break it up into multiple uh, multiple pieces. So we put all of our properties into zero to four thousand. So we go way down here. You can see that these properties uh, for zero to four thousand square foot, we have the average time per square foot here, and then we have uh, time per thousand here. So 0.17 hours per thousand square feet is for our properties that are up to 3,999 square feet. So we did that for each uh, for each different uh, unit that we want to measure to price stuff out on. And we came up with this rate matrix. So this here is the format that you're going to want that go, you'll see it lines right up into the service settings. So you can uh, easily get these uh, prices and copy them straight in. So from zero to 4,000, I'm just saying 4,000, 3,999, the price is $59. So what we're doing here is we're going to take the time per thousand square feet, the figure that I showed you down there, and multiply it times our charge rate and then times the square footage of the property. So we're going to assume that all properties up to 3,999 square feet. Um, are going to are going to be so take the same amount of time as 3,990 square feet and so forth. So all the properties that fall between 4,000 and 499 are going to be priced based on 4,999 square feet. Um, so we're going to multiply these times our charge rate up here is $85 an hour on the property. Uh, the way we do it, we do not take into account drive time separately. We upcharge. So we know that we actually need roughly $62 an hour. Uh, we know our downtime based on the total amount of time that our employees have clocked into jobs versus, versus the amount of time hours that we pay them. So we know in our company that for every 10 hours we're paying them, they're clocked in for roughly 7 hours. So we upcharge this number by roughly 35%. Uh, to come up with our $85 an hour. We get $85 an hour on the job. We know we're going to end up around our 62 uh, for the end of the day, which is what we need to bill for every hour that we pay our guys. So once you get this rate matrix, um, these budget hours, I, I'm not going to get into these right now uh, to get these budgeted costs and stuff. We have a big elaborate spreadsheet. I'll go over in another video where we get our cost per hour and that sort of thing. So once you build these out for each unit, you're going to go into your your service settings. So uh, setting services brings you here. I open up the service that we're pulling the sample on. Um, we're then going to go to the rate matrix here and we're going to copy over these numbers exactly as you see them in the spreadsheet. Uh, so you're going to set this to quantity times rate times visits. Um, it's based on this custom field, the turf square foot for the whole property, uh, which you can build this custom field if you don't have it. And then when you go into this estimate now and you type in these numbers, it's going to calculate it. So zero to 4,000 square feet, 
it's going to be $59. 4000 to 5000 it's going to be $47. Square, $47. And it's funny that these numbers don't make much sense. I'll just point that out because um, actually smaller properties cost more than the bigger ones, but it turns out that these are a lot of the properties we have to push mow. So this is based on raw data, so we know it's right. Um, for our property, it's not going to be one size fits all, but it's going to be one size fits the majority. You know, these are large averages based on large data sets. Um, this one here, you know, if you want, to, if you get sick of putting them in one by one, you can just set a general rule um, because it start. The, if you're going to notice the patterns when you go through your data; they're going to start to flatline. So once you get to, in our case, once you get to 12,000 square foot property, they take about the same amount of time per square footage. So every one square foot over 12,000, we're going to say is always the same price per square foot and more time, more data. So that's it. Once you get that set up, you can quickly type in this data. Um, you know, type in each price, uh, type in the square footage of the properties and spell these prices. Uh, Make sure you know your pricing's uh, universal and accurate. Uh, once you have this uh, data, you can get square footage of properties. You can either go measure them in person, which I would not recommend unless you have to, uh, but you can measure them for free on Google Maps by right clicking and hitting measure distance. You can also use the Smart Maps Pro that comes with Service Autopilot. Uh, check out the website, readybusinesssystems.com, and I'll catch you guys next time.